Imran Khan, the illegally incarcerated popular leader of Pakistan's largest and only federal democratic party, has said that the nation has buried the state's May 9th narrative, referring to the day when unknown individuals damaged state property and attributed it to Imran Khan's party. Speaking to the media at Adyala Jail today, Imran Khan said, and quote, People did not believe that we committed treason. Identification of individuals involved on May 9th should be made through CCTV footage, just as individuals involved in the Capitol Hill attack in the United States were apprehended with the help of CCTV footage. There is no interest in conducting a transparent inquiry into the May 9th incident. I insist that those involved in it be punished." Unquote. On May 9th, more than 15 unarmed PTI supporters were killed by state security forces, while no law enforcement individual was killed. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is in solitary confinement inside the Adyala jail now for the 214th day, is being denied access to medical treatment. Speaking to the media after meeting him inside the jail, his sister Alima Khan said, and quote, He had an eye infection. He could not even open his eye. We have a court order, but despite this, the jail superintendent is not allowing doctors access, unquote. Pakistan's authoritarian government continues to crack down on independent journalists. Imran Riaz Khan, one of Pakistan's top journalists who was previously disappeared for months, is facing terrorism charges now. Vlogger Asatur, who has remained very critical of the powerful military establishment and the controversial Chief Justice, had his physical remand extended today and is being forced to reveal his sources by the Federal Investigation Agency. Asatur and Imran Riaz were reporting on rigging in the elections against the party of Imran Khan in the February 8th general elections. The Committee to Protect Journalists condemned the harassment and called for the journalists' release. Besides harassing and muzzling journalists, Pakistan is continuously blocking access to X, formerly known as Twitter. The powerful military establishment, who many analysts believe are behind the arrests of the journalists, issued a stern statement against social media in its monthly meeting of senior generals. The biased Election Commission of Pakistan issued a doctored Forms 45 in an attempt to justify the seats it stole from PTI. The Election Commission's clumsy but criminal attempt was immediately debunked on social media as well as PTI's candidates who had the original Forms 45, the document which contains results from each polling station. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan told his party leaders, who met him inside the Adyala jail, to prepare for a historic protest in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's provincial capital, Peshawar. PTI has formed government in the province and this weekend will be its first rally in over two years held without the threat of a crackdown by the police. Imran Khan wants his party to inform Pakistanis of the historic rigging that took place and how PTI's mandate was stolen, denying it a majority even after sweeping the elections. Displaced Palestinian children in Gaza have staged a protest march to demand an immediate ceasefire to end the war before Ramadan.